I used to care for my mother and um, for many, many years. In the last year of looking after my mother, um, Crossroads uh, came in and helped me, allowed me to have two days, well, it was two hours twice a week to get out for a wee while. And um, I really, really appreciated Crossroads for all their help. And when my mother passed, um, I decided to go voluntary and to see if I could care for someone the way that my mother had been cared for with Crossroads and um, didn't know if I could do the role with looking after anyone else um, but thoroughly enjoyed it and after about a year and a half, two years decided to go with Crossroads as a, a care attendant and have been now there for 11 years. I thoroughly enjoy it and uh, feel I'm giving something back um, for all the help and for to help other people, you know, the same as myself. My sister-in-law had MS and uh, the family were struggling and Crossroads came along for three visits a week. Uh, seeing the girls come in and letting the father-in-law away and do whatever he wanted, whether it was going for a sleep, going for a down to lane, down to the shore. Uh, it was just, it was really good to see and you got to know the girls and I'd spent two years off work, I wasn't allowed to do anything after an operation. But uh, when you come in and seen them, I started in the bank in 2003. I lasted all of six weeks in the bank and uh, started with a client on a Monday and a Thursday and built up since then. And since then I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. I've had, I wouldn't like to think just how many clients I've been to over the time, but you feel you're going in and you're helping folk out. It's, it's not really a job. It's, it's an education sometimes to see them and how much it means to them. Um, I remember the very, very first time I ever went to anybody um, and I was very, very anxious. I think um, meeting someone for the first time, they're anxious. They, know, they don't really want you to come into their home um, because they feel that their own family can look after them without any intervention. But I think the hardest part is becoming friends with them more than anything, letting them know that you're there for them. Uh, you won't intrude in their life. You're there to let the carer get a wee break for a few hours. And I think once you explain that they need the time so that they can continue to care at home for their loved ones, and you're only there for a few hours to let their carer, husband, wife, whomever, have a wee break for a wee while, and, that, and then you'll be going away. And it's, it's just overcoming them being anxious of someone new coming into their home and you going into the home, you're anxious as well because you're hoping it's going to work and that you're going to go on with the person. I think that's the biggest hurdle I feel is um, going in and once you're there for a few hours, you become friends actually and they realise that they can stay in their home for longer and their loved one's going to be there to look after them. And they come in happy, they've had the wee break. That's what it's all about, I think. Uh, when you first go to people, there's a weariness about them and you feel that they're, they don't know what's happening, so they'll come back early from their visit. Uh, also, when the, the carers go in at first, they may be there for three hours and they think that three hours isn't going to be long enough. So they're back after two hours, was he okay? And you go, well, yes, he was fine. So the next week it's a bit longer. And then they realise, well, three hours is great, but I can maybe do with a bit longer. So sometimes you get, it's liquid at the start. They can be, you can end up with a visit lasting another hour. But, and all the time they're there, it's, it's the look in their faces when they come back. Whether they've just went shopping or went for a meal, went with a cup of coffee with somebody, it's just, they look so more relaxed and, the more you go there, the more you become like a family. Uh, Christmas cards and everything else, but you know their family as well as you know your own sometimes. Uh, you can be there maybe two or three times a week. But I mean, I'm there for three hours, but they've got them the rest of the day, the rest of the week. So you feel honoured that they're letting you into their family just to have that time with them. And it, it works out, I think, for both sides, it works out fine. I think um, what the the person gets from Crossroads, the actual carer, is they get that time away for a couple of hours, they know, and I have personally seen them at the end of their tether, quite honestly, when I go in, and they're 
that actually you can see the anger that, that's built up inside them because they need that escape for a wee while. And when you see them coming back in two or three hours, how long the visit may be, um, they come in with a smile on their face, they've maybe been for a coffee with someone, they can't catch up with friends, they've maybe been for a coffee or they've maybe just went for a nice walk. But you always see when they come back in, their face is, the pressure's lifted. They're, they're able to talk to their loved ones nicely again because they're maybe a wee bit sharp because it's not intentional, but they just need a wee time out for themselves because maybe they haven't been sleeping the night before. And um, when you go in, they'll maybe just go to their bed for a few hours. On many occasions, I have seen someone just going to lie down for a few hours. When they get back up, they can cope again. But the, the difference I see is I see a smile there. And sometimes they just want to talk to you as well. You know, they've had nobody to talk to as well because it's just been them and their partner. Uh, and just having someone just to say hello to and know that they can get this wee break twice a week or however many times the visits are. But the difference is just unbelievable.